no majority in Parliament, Spain's acting Prime Minister, Pedro Sánchez, is a man who has run out of choices. Unable to do a deal with opposition parties and with a deadline for an agreement looming, he has called for an election. The result is clear. There is not a majority in Parliament that guarantees the formation of a government, so the country is bound to hold a repeat election on the 10th of November. Sanchez's Socialist Party won the most seats in April's election, but he has since then been unable to win the confidence of legislators. Even the intervention of King Felipe VI, who met party leaders this week to help cobble a government together, did not work. The centre-right Ciudadanos party, led by Albert Rivera, offered to abstain in confidence votes in exchange for certain policy concessions. That would have given Sanchez the votes to form a government, no. but no agreement was reached. The left-wing Podemos party wanted nothing less than a full coalition, something Sanchez ruled out. Pedro Sanchez said that the Spanish people have voted for a progressive government. I agree, and in this progressive government, it's not reasonable to only have representatives for the 7 million people who voted for the Socialist Party and not the almost 4 million who voted for Podemos. Now it will be up to Spanish voters to break the political deadlock, with the election scheduled to take place on the 10th of November. Next now, as the Brexit countdown continues, the European